Okay, this is the story of Gordy Gorilla and the giant pot he found. Gordy had finished all of his schoolwork at home in the morning. He worked very hard to do his timetables, times tables. He had some addition and subtraction problems, a little bit of science, and mommy just did some um, drilling to see if he remembered what a noun was. What is a noun? A person, place, or thing. What is a verb? Uh, something you do. Yes. Do you remember what an adjective is? Um, like... It describes a noun. It describes... Like the shiny coin. Shiny would be an adjective. It tells something about the coin. So, Gordy had all sorts of homework, drilling and stuff, and he finished everything before lunch. Now, Daddy told him, if you finish everything before lunch today, we're going to walk to the beach all together as a family. And that's your gift for getting things done early. Daddy said, whenever you do your work when you should, it helps all the rest of the day flow like it should. And then we have more time together as a family and less time fighting about people not doing the things that they should be doing. Gordy had finished everything, so they got to go to the beach and he was so excited. He got a bucket and a spade to do some digging with. It was such a nice warm day. It was so warm, Gordy was already sweating before he even got to the beach. And the sun was out and high. There were no clouds in the sky and the birds were everywhere. <sighs> Flying around and there was people on the beach too who were throwing bread crumbs to the birds. When they got to the beach, they walked towards one end where there weren't, weren't very many people. It was a big stony beach. No sand, just lots of stone and seaweed. Yeah, some big bits of sand, but Gordy liked to go and dig with his spade. On this day, they walked towards another area they usually didn't go to, and Gordy found lots of new shells that he had never seen before. They were different patterns that he hadn't seen, and he was thinking of all the things that he could do with them. Gordy loved collecting seashells, especially ones that were interesting and different from all the other ones. Gordy decided to settle into one area and start digging, and that's exactly what he did. He wanted to dig a little well and get down to water and then make a little castle next to it. Gordy put all of his treasures aside and just used the spade to do some digging. He got down almost as deep as his hand was. And then, what do you think happened? What? He hit something hard. It wasn't a stone because it was very... Uh, ceramic. Yes, it was ceramic looking. Well, What's it this? It it's probably a piece of pottery. Gordy had found lots of pieces of pottery over on the beach over the years. It's pottery, little broken pieces of pot? Yep. Pots or plates, or it could be anything. anything. Anything like that, ceramic. So Gordy kept digging, and it was something bigger because it wasn't just a little piece he could pull out. He had to keep digging around the edges of it to find out how big it was. Digging, 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 digging and forever. Yeah, it was quite big. This is like the size of a flower pot, he said. Gordy was digging all around the edges, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> a trail of water shot up out of the pot right into Gordy's eye. Ah, he said, what's this happened? He found out there was a clam underneath <laughs> at the sand that wasn't all too keen on him digging where its home should be. He dug and dug and dug and found the clam. When he found the clam, he picked it up and he put it in a different spot next to the water so it could bury itself again and find a new home because Gordy wanted to dig up the pot. So off he kept going, digging, digging, digging. Oh, it was getting bigger and bigger. It was definitely the size of a flower pot. 
He was getting all around the edges, and it was getting very watery because he had to dig quite deep. Was and it the size of that great pot we have with great decorations around no, it? No, it wasn't that big. That's huge. Mm -hmm. It was about eight inches deep, this deep, and the diameter, which is from one side of the top, the rim, to the other side on the top of the pot, was also about eight inches. Oh. So, Gordy dug and finally, with lots of effort, pulled it out. Oh, it was a beautiful pot. You have to drag it out. Mm-hmm. And there was just one little chip mark on it, and it actually had pictures of flowers on it, ceramic painted pictures of flowers. So pretty it was. Gordy was so excited because he knew exactly what he wanted to do with it. When he got home, oh, he wanted to plant um, some stuff for them to eat. So he decided, with Mommy's help, that they would plant pea shoots because you can eat those in salad. Gordy was thinking, I will plant lots of peas, and then we'll eat them in salad when we chop them off. Pea and then shoots. Pea shoots. Oh. A shoot is like a baby plant. So he planted, when he got home, he planted lots of peas oh. and put them in a dark place with a heavy lid with some stones over the top. Because he had just planted the peas on top of the dirt instead of down in the dirt, so they would grow up faster. Oh, it was very nice. The pot was so beautiful, and Gordy's pea shoots were growing beautifully. Every day, after 25 days, they would have a few pea shoots in their salad, and it was very good. Gordy decided that he wanted to get his schoolwork done every day before lunch because that way they had more time together as a family. Gordy was also thinking of other ways that he could make the family have more time together. If he helped Mommy more clean up after um, lunch and breakfast and he swept the floor and if he picked up the bits on the stairs every time he went up or down if he just saw some bits of rubbish then they wouldn't have to vacuum as much then we would have more time to do fun things gordy was thinking of all these wonderful things and that made him very happy but he was most happy with his beautiful pot Everyone loved it. Baby Melody loved it, Daddy loved it, and Mommy loved it. And that was Gordy's adventure. And that was the end.